Now we're stuck at a point, guys. We have a, a function that is non-continuous. So when we look at this graph, when you guys plug this into your graphing technology, and please make sure you guys get the table too as well. Um, you guys are gonna have a graph that's gonna look something, something like this, okay? Um, now, obviously, at zero, it can't equal zero. Okay, so these are going to be open circles because you can't actually op can't actually equal zero, right? Because if you if you had x equals zero, then it'd be undefined. So these are both. I should probably have some bigger dots here. These are both undefined at zero. However, when we look at the table, at negative two, it's equal to negative one. At negative one, it's equal to negative one. At what the heck did I do? At zero, it's undefined. At one, it's equal to one, and at two is equal to one. Right? Am I great? You guys, anybody create the table? Good. So uh, let's go and think about this. It's, it's a it's a non-continuous function, right? You can't draw this function without having to jump and go on over there. So that's one issue that we have already. It's a jump discontinuity. Now the next thing is let's go ahead and think about you know evaluating some limits here at different values. So if I wanted to find the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x, okay? If I, let's say you want to evaluate the limit at 1. So let's go to where 1 is. 1 is right here. Now think about from the left and from the right at 1. Is that continuous? From over here, like if we're trying to approach 1, is it continuous? Right? And you can see that it's approaching it from the left and right. They're both from both sides. It's approaching it equal to 1. Now, we don't need to change our table, guys. But would you agree with me that if you did 0.9999, it's going to look really close to 1. And if you did 1.00001, it's going to get really close to 1. Right? Would you guys agree with me that from left and right, they're both approaching 1? And again, let's evaluate for 1. Right? So if I want to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x, that's just going to equal once. However, what about if I want to do the limit as, oh, well, let's do that one. Um, this one becomes important.